I say that, that, yes, there are some privileges that women have that men don't, but also there's privileges that men have that women don't. I don't think women are more privileged in our society because I could get a woman pregnant and I could just run away. They could get you well, for child support. Well, they can get you for child support, which they do. Are you saying oh, she can't run away? Are you saying she can't run away from the pregnancy? But you could actually physically leave. I know what you're saying. Leave. I I you saying. At the end of the day, like I don't see women having more privileges than men because we don't have the same, it, there's no way to objectively measure it. Well, and in the scenario that you pointed out, I mean, if a woman was pregnant, she wouldn't be able to get an abortion in most in some parts states, of the country. Uh, yes. Yeah. In some states, that's, that's a major sure disadvantage. Yeah. You can't get an abortion, case. but children yeah. can go get a, a gender change at 12 with a feels parent like you're at very 15 fixated on without that. consent. That's not feels, true. It feels like you're very I, fixated as on that. Really I, I know the do. laws as well. I state. went through this. I know. In some states, you can. And in Thailand, you can go at 16 and get your everything cut off. Guys, it's less than less than 5%. I know. It I know. doesn't small, matter. It's such a small it subset matter. of the population. But you can't say that about it. does matter, though. When you have a child, you're not a parent That's between the parent and the child. You, can I ask you a question, though, or ask the group a question? Yeah. There's more world leaders who are male, and typically I think good, leadership... Good, that's a good thing. I know it's, it's well, weird coming from me, me, but I do want to know, it doesn't bum you out that it's less likely for a woman to become president? I don't feel bummed out because I know that if I want to pursue something that I want to do, I have every capability to do it in this country. I don't feel bummed out. Women should not be positions of extreme leadership like presidents, et cetera, et cetera, because we're too emotional. No, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of emotions too. Men right can be impulsive. I'm, I'm not can, saying men that men can, can't be yeah. emotional. Like we had a president, we had a president who would literally just and now go we on Twitter every day, every work. second. Wait, one it's person so she can hear us. To be logical and to be sound, it's not something defined by gender. It's just something defined by your own psychology. The left and right brain, it, it no, actually is, though. No, it's That's just not false. false. No, it's not Come on, man. Come on. Really? Really? Your, your question about leadership, I think, is a very poignant question because a lot of people are asking that. Why don't we see more female presidents? Why don't we see more female CEOs or Fortune 500 companies? And again, it goes back to those gender differences. There will be women who will be exceptions to the generalized rule of what it means to be feminine. And those women, you will see succeed in extreme leadership. But we should also discuss what the conditions of extreme leadership are. We're talking 80 hour work weeks, yeah. subscribing yourself to your career and nothing else. Or going family and children. Psychologically and biologically, women tend to lean in the direction of not making those choices for themselves, while men are highly competitive, they are highly analytical, systematic, they're willing to put in that time and take extreme measures to gain career status. Exactly. But in a, in a egalitarian said. society, it's about having that choice to make that decision. And yes, that's what but we about. do, it's but we already have that choice. We do. If, have if that I want to go but own my being, own company, I can. Restricted. Like I said in the beginning, we've all agreed that the beginning of feminism was going in the right direction. Humanizing women. Yeah. It right. was humanizing women. It was making them equal to men. It was giving us the same opportunities so that we can go vote, so that I can go get a job, so that I can drive a car. Like she there's can run for other countries she wants. that I know that we weren't talking about other countries, but if you want to talk about feminism, Go protect the women who get beat up for driving a car Thank in you. other countries.